Hello basketball coaches and basketball players, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I'm going to talk to you how you can call a basketball play or draw up a basketball play during a timeout and my strategies behind it. So hello everyone, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training. On this channel I show you basketball plays, drills and skills. So if you like that stuff, hit that like button and subscribe. But anyways, today I'm going to talk to you about how I draw up basketball plays during timeouts. So generally speaking, this is something that you will probably do two or three times during the season uh, near the end of each game. Now, if you're in a close game, you've got the ball along the baseline, you know they're going to be playing a certain type of defense, and you call a timeout and you're like, okay guys, we, have a, we need to do a, a play that will run us a quick shot. We're down by two. What we're going to go for is, let's say... A, either a mid-range shot, maybe a three-point shot, but something that will get us either a tie or the win. So I'm going to set up a few of you guys into positions where you will succeed. And this is how I'm going to be talking to my players. Because now I'm not just making it about this is what we're going to do. I'm also motivating them as well, which is very important when you're near the end of the game down by two. Then I'll bring in my clipboard. Uh, I'm going to show my clipboard somewhere on this screen as well. And then I'll bring in my clipboard and I'm going to be like this. Okay, guys. So this is, our, this is our play today. What we are going to do is we will have our box inbounds play. I am 100% sure that they are going to be running a man-to-man -man defense because that is what they are known for doing. Uh, near the end of each game, but also along baseline inbounds as well. So we're going to be setting this up as if it's against a man-to-man -man defense. If we somehow go against a, uh, a zone defense, uh, don't worry about it. This play will still work. So we're going to go down to this clipboard. We are the blue team. Okay, so we already know what our numbers are. Uh, if, it's, if this is a... Now me talking back to the camera. Uh, if this is... Uh, going back to uh, drawing on an actual whiteboard, I would put the letters, the beginning letter for each of their names. Uh, on a, an app like Coachbase, what I would do is say, Jonah, you're number one. Matt, you're number two. Caesar, you're number three. Things like that. But we're going to go down to this clipboard. What we will have is we want to have player five possibly getting a layup over here. And we also want player two to be open along the sideline for a quick shot. Now we only have three seconds left on the clock, so we need to make sure that this play is going to work. We're only going to get one chance at shooting, so I know you guys can make this shot. So let's get down and let me show you what this play is going to do. Now what we're going to do is have player four setting a screen for player two. Red is defense. We're going to have player one setting a screen as well for player five. Player 5 is going to use that screen. He's going to pop down to this uh, this low block over here. Player 3, Jonah, or whatever player 3 is, I need you to make this a bounce pass. If player 5 is open, this needs to be a bounce pass. Next, player 2 is going to be using player 4. He's going to be popping out over here. If player 5 is not open, I want player 5 to make sure that he is trying to get open as much as possible. If his player fought through, I need you to be making sure that you're boxing, boxing him out on one side and have your hand ready, have your hand open, ready for that inbounds pass. This, again, needs to be a bounce pass because we have that backboard there. Player 2, he is our second option. If player 5 is not open, take a quick glance at player 2. If he's open, hit him up for that shot. He will either be there or he could be in the mid-range area. It's up to you. Player 2, Matt, or whatever his name is, Matt, it is up to you. If you think you can hit a 3-point shot, pop out to the 3-point line. If you feel like you, you're not able to do that, go down to the mid-range. I'm happy either way. Now you're actually making them make a little bit of the decision as well. Now... Everyone got that? Does anyone have any questions? No? We're good? Okay, good. Again, this is how we're setting up. I want player one there, five there, four there, and two there. We are currently looking at the court this way. So this is where I want our players to be. Everyone good? Yes? Good. Ready, set, team. Just like that. And you will 
be able to make sure that your players understand the play. This may not be a play that they have ran before, but because it's easy, there's only two screens involved and it's a box. It's going to be very simple, especially at the older high school age groups. They will be able to succeed. Anyways, I hope that you have enjoyed today's video. I hope that this video has helped you. Somewhere on the screen is a subscribe button and another video. Go check those out if you haven't subscribed or seen that video yet. Uh, YouTube suggesting that video. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow for another daily basketball video.